Hello, here's my treasure chest. Now, I've only got a few things in my treasure chest today. Um, and the first thing that I'm going to show you is a small bit of metal that I kicked uh, by mistake while walking on a path near our house. And I bent down to see what it was, and it was this. And I turned to Claire, having picked it up, and said, the obvious question, what is this for? Now, numbers turn out to be uh, very important these days. And indeed, I was discussing R, uh, the value of R, in the last treasure chest. The Bible is fascinated with numbers and starts the counting very early on. The opening passages in Genesis, the creation, enumerates the days. And the Old Testament is full of numbers. Uh, indeed, there's even a book of numbers about the census of the Israelites, which came to 603,550. And in fact, that's the number that I've got on this calculator here, which is the original Hewlett-Packard calculator uh, that was produced in 1972. And I remember getting one of these at the time that I was doing physiological research in Oxford, the HP 35. At the time I got this, the only other ways of doing complex calculations was basically a, a huge spool-to-spool -spool computer that was in the physiology lab um, and I had to do uh, programming of that in focal. Or otherwise, I was using these, which is the four-figure tables. You don't see many four-figure tables in schools these days, but uh, these have got all the, uh, the logarithms at the front here. Um, and, and then, of course, the other way was the use of this device, which is a slide rule. And I used to get quite efficient with a slide rule. And this also works on a logarithmic basis so that you can uh, slide this along. Um, and I can tell you that, for instance, uh, pi squared uh, comes out to be uh, near enough 9.9. .9. So much of what we know in medicine today uh, is based on mathematics. And indeed, it turns out that math is extremely important in almost all aspects of science. And indeed, I was lecturing on trials theory, which I spent a lot of time in my life doing, just this week um, over Zoom uh, to an Indian audience. Now, it's been alleged, actually entirely wrongly, that the Australian Aboriginals could only count to two. Actually, they've got rather a sophisticated method of counting. They use uh, fingers, wrist, uh, elbow, shoulder, and so on. But anyway, when I, when I heard the myth about the Aboriginals, I thought, well, if I could only count to two, I'd be in a bit of trouble since I've got three children uh, and three grandchildren. Now, counting is all very well, and we'd be in a very poor way without it. But it doesn't go anywhere near appreciating sunsets, for example. So here are some sunsets that are uh, photographed by Claire just in the last week. Now, this is obvious, that numbers don't help us in appreciating sunsets. But what isn't so obvious is that we can start counting things that should not be counted, and that can lead us a long way astray. Peter came up with the idea that perhaps one could forgive one's brother up to seven times. And 
he suggested this to Jesus, who responded with the point that one should forgive other people up to 70 times seven. Now, Peter would have realised immediately that Jesus wasn't expecting him to do the maths. He would have got the point. Jesus' interest was never in numbers, but in each individual person. Each individual number one. And in the news these days, we hear all the time of the number of COVID-19 cases and the number of deaths, and we start to think of these in merely statistical terms. But each and every one of these people is someone's father or mother or brother or sister or child. In one of my previous treasure chest talks, I mentioned Auntie Yabo of our extended family who died of COVID-19 in St Thomas's Hospital a few days before Boris Johnson was admitted there. And, and when we talk COVID deaths, Claire and I often mention and think about Auntie Yabo to remind ourselves again that each of these lives matters individually and personally. And then I think, well, even if I could only count to two and I've got three children, it wouldn't matter because they're not countable by me at all. They are simply Philippa, Richard and Joanna. And I don't think numbers when I think about the grandchildren. I think Phoebe, Rachel and Amy. And I love them all. 